This is the 33 News at 9. Buy it, use it, break it, fix it. What happens on one of these can live forever on the web. It can be harmless. Technologic. Or erasing photos and sex on cell phones or computers turn into teen sextortion. It's a new term and a real horror. It can begin in any family computer room. Take a couple of teenage girls goofing off with a webcam. A week later, the threatening emails arrive, demanding more pics or else. It is frightening and a very real crime, online sexual extortion, and it is on an upswing. Cases are popping up around the country in more than a dozen states now, but it's brand new to parents and prosecutors who are still learning about sextortion. Yeah, they're just pictures, you know, too, for him to get all, you know, excited. Mary, who doesn't want to show her face, has revealed almost all to an ex-boyfriend in sexy text messages that she knows could pop up again. There always is a probability that, yes, it could get into the, the wrong hands. It's happening. Sextortion. Strangers are getting a hold of nude photos, sexting pictures, even steamy webcam video, using all of it to blackmail teens to post for more explicit pictures. Is using the internet to extort sex in the way of sexual images. Former federal prosecutor Bill Matea isn't surprised by the disturbing uptick in sextortion. He says pornographers will find ways to use technology to exploit children. And it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out where those images emanated from. And so, you know, unscrupulous people then take the images and hold people hostage by demanding that they perform sexual acts over the internet. There are alarming cases in Alabama. A man used Facebook and MySpace to send threatening emails to extort nude images from 50 women. A California man hacked into 200 computers and threatened to expose naked pictures of teens unless he received sexual videos. The predators on Facebook, predators on MySpace, predators on every you know, outlet that a teenager is on. Teen counselor Missy Wall says teens are surrounded by this new threat and vulnerable because often they're too scared or embarrassed to get help. So instead of a teenager talking to their parents or going to the police, they would rather just go ahead and send more pictures, thinking that will solve the problem instead of getting help. It's a risk Mary will think about before she sends another sexy picture. If you want to play that game, and go ahead. But if not, then don't take the risk. No one tracks the number of cases involving online sexual extortion, so it's hard to say just how rampant it is. But experts say it would be wise for parents to talk with teens about sextortion because they say it is not going away. Reporting live, Don Tongish, The 33 News.